just had this 20, 30, 40 series. I'm not sure if this works, but uh, I'm just gonna test it. So um, today, while walking the bus stop, just had this 20, 30, 40 series. Um, just gonna find some key team members to help you answer your questions. So in fact, today, um, I just invited one of the, the team member in his 20s to answer this following question that someone posted in the community or the tribe. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, the first question that came back from the tribe is, uh, how should I be a smart investor? I guess I'd like to break down this phrase, uh, smart investor, into two things. One is smart, two is investor. Anyone can invest, but the key is whether are we being smart. So my definition of smart is whether are you investing in your own circle of competence. So because that's a very important thing, because at the end, when you invest, uh, make an assumption that you're investing for the long term, you're going to need a um, sense of conviction to whatever you're investing in, be it whether whatever financial instruments you are, you have an intention. So yes, please kindly invest in your circle of competence and that makes you a smart investor. So continue watching. Yes. So today I received this question from an investor. Uh -huh. So I just want to see what's your take. <laughs> okay. How could I be a smart investor? That's the question. So uh, my answer to this is you have to know what's the definition of an investor first. So firstly, investor is uh, investor is someone that will pay for an item that they know in the future will generate them more income than they paid for. So that's the definition of being an investor. They, are, they, are, they know that the value of this particular item or asset they, they choose to invest in can generate them a higher future income adjusted to inflation. So regarding the discussion, how could I be a smart investor? I think firstly, she has to know three things. So uh, rule of three, lah, so it's easier to remember. Firstly, you have to know uh, what is your circle of competence. So circle of competence will define uh, where, which area you can invest in because that, that's the area you understand the most, right? Then secondly, right, you must know uh, Within your circle of competence, that particular asset that you choose, right, must be something that you know in the future it will still be around uh, for a long time. Lah, so that you don't have to be bothered checking this business uh, every here and then. So like what Warren Buffett says, right, you invest in the business and you go to sleep. Yeah, so second so the basically the second point which I just mentioned is just you have to know that this particular thing within your circle of competence, is it going to be long lasting? And lastly, right, for this, uh, for for the third point, how to be a smart investor is you have to pay a price that is below its business value. Yeah, so why is it so? Because uh, you do not want to overpay for anything that can generate you a lesser income in the future. Yeah, so that's all I have for you. Ten million thanks. And if you like this kind of... Uh playlist short answers uh, to your questions yeah share with your friends thank you for tuning in